It's hot out there and the sun is shining bright, but don't let that sun slow you down. Introducing Shady Rays, your ultimate companion for every sunny adventure. With Shady Rays sunglasses, you'll enjoy unbeatable protection from harmful UV rays so you can focus on having fun under the sun. These premium sunglasses come with polarized lenses, cutting through glare and ensuring crystal clear vision wherever you go. Whether you're hitting the beach, hiking in the mountains, or simply strolling through the city, Shady Rays will keep you looking stylish while keeping your eyes protected. Every pair of Shady Rays sunglasses feature their signature lost and broken protection. So if you lose or break your pair for any reason, they'll replace them. And the best part, with our special code, enjoy $20 off your first purchase. So what are you waiting for? Head to shady.themanspacepodcast.com. That's shady.themanspacepodcast.com and pick out your perfect pair of shades. Sunglasses aren't meant to be loved. They're meant to be lived in. And with Shady Rays, your sunny days just got brighter. Thank you, Voice Girl, and welcome once again to another edition of the Man Space Podcast. Now, this is the voice of Russ, and with me, as always, more scandalous than a P. Diddy party, Woo! the one and only Big Les. Yo. What's going on, man? What's up, brother? How you doing today, <laughs> sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. You? Yeah, yeah man. I'm, I'm, I'm over my... Uh... Over my little anxiety I had over the weekend, I'm I'm over it now, and yeah. uh, I'm back to myself. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. that was a that was a tough one, man. That was a tough one. I was uh, dealing with little Russ over the weekend. We were yeah. here watching the game, and and I told her, I said, you know what, I, I'm rooting with my boy Big Les. Yeah, I'm cheering for Detroit. Oh, and she's like. Detroit's not gonna win, and the whole time, right? Yeah, every time one of the players scored because, like, first touchdown, Jameis Williams, right? Yeah, you know he's yeah. a he's a Bama boy. So I'm yeah. sitting there. I said, LaRus, where did he go to school? Bama, Bama, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I got a and then you know Jameer yeah. Gibbs. Bam, bam, bam. You know, I'm yeah, just doing yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Brian Branch getting in there. I'm attacking, bam, I'm just getting it, you know. Yeah. So I'm all in, right? Riding with Detroit. I and then uh your boy uh Atri, yeah, texts me. He's like, Are you watching this game? I'm like, Yeah, it's over. I said, uh -huh. they, they got this on. He's like, I don't want to jinx it, I didn't want to say nothing. And then Detroit just started doing what Detroit does. Bro, I felt the cold wave come over me. Oh, my during gosh. Half during halftime, I sat there. My wife said, what's the score? I told her the score. Mm -hmm. And she says, oh, y'all doing good. I said, hold on now. Right. Don't do not do that. And I just felt this, this cold <laughs> wave. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was silent. And then the second half starts. Oh my and was, gosh! And I was silent. The circus catch. Did, did that catch off. the receivers, the the defenders' face masks that he caught, and they and they they got him down at the one. I, said, I could not believe that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You know what I said at that point? I said, "Oh, this is over." Mm. I, I yeah. My my view of it was. If they 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 scored, that was our golden opportunity. Well, we had three golden opportunities to right. put the nail in the coffin. If we would have intercepted that and scored again, that would have been a nail, right? Yeah. The the field goal with the with the three yards, <laughs> that was a nail, right? And mm -hmm. then Debo just ran all over people, right? Yeah. 
the tackling in the secondary was horrendous. Hor- horrendous, man. You had the fumble by Gibbs. The fumble been, that was that been that was solid. It. That been solid all year. Yeah, yeah, that and was that was tough. Fumble on the largest stage of your life. Yeah, that was that was tough, man. I, and I felt bad. I didn't even want to text you. <laughs> I was on the verge. I was sitting on the edge of edge of my recliner. I didn't lean back. I didn't sit back. I sat on the edge. And when the game was over, I was still in that exact same spot. Yeah, Mrs. Russ, like, did you text Les? I was like, yeah, I did send him a quick message, but uh, he responded with something that's NSFW. <laughs> She's like, <"W-> what? <laughs> NSFW, right? And, she, and that was her response. What? What does that mean? <laughs> I said, not safe for work. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. You knew what it meant. She knew exactly what that meant when you said that. Yeah, she didn't yeah. know, but yeah. she knows now. Yeah, I'm sure. After yeah. you told her what it meant, not safe for work. Yeah, she mm-hmm. probably was like, oh, I can only imagine what he said. Yep, yep. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> just got to leave it at that, man. Yeah, and we'll, the- we'll move on. Yeah, just we'll for the move ladies on, and gentlemen man. out there. That was my compound word day. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. That that was his sailor mouth. <laughs> oh my god! I turned into I turned into Brutus from Popeye. I wasn't Popeye. I turned into Brutus. It was brutal. It, oh oh man. it was so bad though, and it's the last thing I'm saying about it. It was so bad mm. that people from our family weren't calling me or texting me. They were calling and texting my wife. Is he okay? Is he breathing? <laughs> I saw a post from my niece. She says, he says, y'all, my father is not okay. You know, my brother laid out on the floor. She said, he, it's going to take him a couple of days. But, yeah. you know, it was a good, it wasn't a good show and it was a good season. Yeah. So, so thank you to the Lions and all my Lions fans. Thanks for riding with us and the ones who believed in me earlier this year when I said the Lions were going to the playoffs. Yep. I appreciate you for believing in that. And I appreciate You'll never you. Never hear this sound again. I, I know. I'm gonna say it again though next year. You can say it again, but we'll never play the sounder again. The sounder no. has been removed. We are from going the soundboard. We we're going to the Super Bowl next year. The okay. sounder has actually been replaced by this one for the Panthers. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all gonna do better next year. See, that's that's the Panthers, that's the Hornets, just yep. Pistons. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! We suck again. <laughs> oh man! But oh, since, no. since, since Mama's out of town, let me ask you if this has ever happened to you, <laughs> right? So I, yeah. I've been in. I've been in here chilling, right, by myself. Uh-huh. Okay. So, like, usually right before bed, we, you know, we get on the phone, we talk, you know, mm-hmm. for a little bit, you know, until get ready to go to sleep. You know, the whole, right. oh, you hang up, oh, you hang up, right? You know, you know how <laughs> little, little couples in love do, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so um, the other night, man, I'm laying in bed, and, and I'm clearly having a dream. Mm-hmm. That I'm on the phone, laying in bed, talking yeah. to her, oh. and I hear the alarm sounder say, "Front door open." I was like, mm. hey, "What the heck? The alarm is on. What do you mean front door is open, right?" Yeah, and I'm like, "Little Russ is here," and I'm like, "She's down the hall," but I'm like, "I remember telling her before." We went to bed, the alarm is on, and she doesn't know the code to turn it off. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what the heck's going on? Right? So, I, and then Mr. Russ is like, you going to go check it out? I'm like, yeah. So I, I, I peeked out down the hall. Her, her light's out in her room, so she's, mm-hmm. she's still in her room. I go downstairs. It's pitch black. Right. And I see the alarm panel, and it's just flashing, right? Right. Like, what the hell? So now I done got scared and can step back, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm peeking around the corner and the door is shut and it, I woke up, right? Mm. So now I'm like, did I really hear that? 
<laughs> you know, so so now hey, I'm, I'm like I'm some freaking of them out. Dreams dog. Are real. Some of them dreams are, are really real. Dog, they, I'm going they, through the app trying to yeah. figure out like I'm going through did my you, did you <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 looking through everything. Did like okay, it, did, did the alarm go off during this yeah. time? So I uh, I'm I'm even going through the, all the, the videos, right? And I yeah. see the front door thing, the front door camera went off in the middle of the night. And I'm like, what in the world is this? You know, so I'm looking yeah. and I'm like analyzing like every second. But it was right. a car that drove down the street in the middle of the <laughs> night and it triggered, you know. And then it's like after Little Russ had got there, uh, somebody had came to the front door and delivered a package. Yeah. So we hadn't been back out of the house. So it was like the package had been there all night. So I'm like looking at the camera from all different directions, yeah. making sure the package still there at the front door. No, I'm, I'm like, I that messed me up so bad. Like yeah. I'm sitting there like really analyzing this mess. I, I and this is like four in the morning. It woke me up, so I never got back to sleep. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, it's a wrap, man. Because now, yeah. now, now you half in, half out. Any little oh, thing man. you hear, the furnace yeah. kick on, the fan makes oh. too much noise. You know, it's man. Yeah. And, and you know, uh we we have one of those DR Horton houses, right? Yeah, yeah. DR Horton, there's so many lawsuits on, on DR Horton. I'm I'm just throwing their name out there, Man Space Nation, because if you're looking for a house, do not invest in DR mm. Horton. Just go on YouTube it and and see what's going on. DR Horton, they give you a lot of house for the money, but they're not worth the flip. Yeah. They they are a very shady yeah. builder. But anyway, so I, I'm, you know, the house settles still, and you hear like floorboards popping in the middle, like mm. what, you know, like your head hell? popping around. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. No. I, I, I tell you, man, I, I don't know. I, I, I had a, a frog, mm. uh, ring our doorbell. A frog. A frog. Yep. One of those those little green tree yeah. frog like thing. He was yeah. big, but he climbed up. He climbed up the wall, and I guess his little his little foot hit it just enough. <laughs> and the doorbell went off about three o'clock in the morning. So you know, I'm up. I'm militant. Mm -hmm. So you're not ringing my doorbell at three o'clock in the morning. And, oh yeah, and I, of course you grabbing something and coming yeah, down yeah, yeah. with I'm, it. Right, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming around the corner slowly and surely. You know, right. So I'm I'm hoping it ain't nobody that I know that's trying to do something stupid, right? Right. I open up the door, well, peep out the side glass, and I don't see nothing. So I open up the door, you know, I don't see nothing. Then this mug jumps. Well, he ain't gonna jump, but he crawled across my eyesight, and mm. the choker had to be about big as my palm. Mm. He was huge, man. I've never seen yeah. a green. Frog, one of them sticky, them climbing frogs yeah. that big before. Yeah, green of course, and yellow. Right. Yeah. I know exactly what he is. And I'm like, man, what the? So I'm trying to shake him off the screen door, yeah. you know, the whole time. And now the camera's going rang, 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 every time I'm opening <laughs> right. up the door. Right, right. So I finally let him stay, right? I go back. The wifey is like, you just going to leave him out there? I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm not about to go out there and go mess with him. Well, what if he gets in the house? How? Mm. How is he going to get in the house? I don't know. He could climb up the thing. I said, listen, if he was going to get up there, he was going to get up there. I didn't stay up all night, but she did. She was thinking about that damn frog all night. I know. And that's right. She don't mess with no insects, nor animals whatsoever. Mm -mm. She don't mess with them at all. She it's... runs from everything. So I've had, you know, some free time since mom has been out of town. Mm hmm. And, you know, I've been, like, occupying myself by searching social media. Oh, Lord. And I'm like, hmm, I need to go out there and clean out the shed of all things, right? Straighten it up, get it back in order, you know? Well, oh. I'm looking at this video on social media, <laughs> and this lady, <laughs> she goes out to her shed, and not one, but two huge snakes fell through the window of her shed. Oh God. I'm in it. it's a wrap. I'm never going out there again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. 
I'm gonna pay somebody to cut my grass from now on. The shed is just gonna stay there full of whatever's in there. I'm not going out yeah. there no more. I, 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 I would tell you what I carry with me by my back door. I have a a small flat bladed shovel. So when I walk out out, out back, guess what's in my hand? Yeah, yeah. It, oh, my I shovel's got, right there at the back door. Yeah, I got it. I got but a flat blade that, shovel. That, that, that just messed me up because these these jokers were big and they started coming out the door at her. I'm like, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It was hard. I was done. Yeah, I was well, absolutely done. Well, them I had to hit them with the shotgun. Wow. They could have had the whole shed. <laughs> matter of fact, will, you just did it to me, right? I want you to know that. Because I put a bunch of stuff in our shed this fall. Mm-hmm. And I gotta go get I yeah. keep telling I keep telling the wifey, you need to go out there and grab a box, bring yeah. it into the garage, clean it all out, mm-hmm. throw the box away, throw everything away that's in that box. Right. So we still have some stuff. It ain't been touched in two years. So it should yes. go to the garbage. I did the same thing. Mm-hmm. We had a bunch of stuff in our garage. When mama was out of town, I took all this stuff and put it in the shed. So right. I'm like, okay, it's going to be in the shed. I want to see if it gets used, right? Mm. If it doesn't get used in the next year, it's getting thrown away. Yeah. Everything that's in the shed has not been used that I put out there. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, now I can't go get it. I can't go get it. I'm gonna hey, have to say- I, got a, I got an idea. You pay one of the boys to go get it and bring it out for you. I know they listen to the show. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait at the Uncle Ron under the bus. <laughs> yeah, they listen. Uncle, Uncle listen. It's over. Uh, I can't, it's over. Uncle I can't do it. over with. <laughs> they can't even respect me no more. Y'all keep nope. trying to put it on me. <laughs> oh. uh, let's go my, to break. My bad, my bad fellas. <laughs> Valentine's Day coming up, and we've beaten Valentine's Day over the head several times about how big yep. of a scam it actually is. That's right. We've actually made it through Thanksgiving and Christmas, mm-hmm. and you know, we've made it through anniversaries and stuff like yeah. that. And so now it's like one last hurdle for for a while is is Valentine's Day. And like that stretch is stressful. It is. So let me just ask you, yeah, how do you handle stress management? And that's kind of what we're going to get into today. And instead of tackling how big of a scam and ripoff that <laughs> Valentine's Day is, it is, of it. <laughs> it is my most hated moment yeah. of the year is Valentine's Day. Oh, man. Because we're not going to talk about how much <clears throat> a dang flower gets marked up. For this one made up day that we can celebrate on the next day while everybody else has spent their money, we can go the next day and have the same meal just fine and and not have to wait two hours for it. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. And we could take uh, flowers out the freezer. I don't know how well that lasts, but you know, yeah, I freeze them jokers. But anyway, I deal with it fine, bro, because I don't care. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't start this with the wifey, right? If she get flowers and candy and some other little stuff, she is well surprised with it. Because mm-hmm. guess what? Because I don't make it a mission to do that. She might get it one year. She might not get it three years. <laughs> but you never know. I you keep, keep her on her toes. That's it. <laughs> I keep her guessing. But see, I don't fellas, expect I don't expect stuff. Fellas either. of the Man Space Nation, yeah. don't follow that advice. I'm trying to tell you, but see, no, know your woman. Know your woman. <laughs> know your woman. But don't start. You can't keep up. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> what 
We are still a okay. family show. We have not don't, gone to Man Space After Dark yet. Don't start <laughs> stuff you can't keep up with. That's why I don't lie. Because I can't keep up with the lie. Oh, my gosh. I can't keep up with it. I, I can't tell you, baby, you're beautiful. And then under my breath, I'm like, you, that's the worst dress I ever seen in my life. I can't do it. Now I get beat up for being too blunt. Because right. I will say, ooh, that's not flattering. What What do you mean? It's just not flattering. I don't want to say it's ugly, but, you know, I'm. Yeah. it's not for me. Yeah. So I, I get my... I get beat up on a little bit, but mm-hmm. don't keep up. Don't 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 try to do stuff you can't keep up with, because it gets more expensive every year. Think about this: the more you do something, the more you have to do it better the next year. Ain't that the truth? I keep the expectations low, so if I do anything, oh my god, that's right. Now, five <laughs> years from now. I'll try it again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing all of that, bro. No. Oh, boy. No. Okay. After her birthday, I do, I, you know, I done done too much for her birthday. So it may be, she want cars and stuff now. I, I, mean, I ain't doing that. <laughs> so I have this article from Harvard Health. Harvard. You got to say it with, with the respect. You got to put some respect on it. Hard. And it's talking about relaxation techniques to handle stress. Okay. This will be interesting. Yeah. So there's six ways to handle stress management. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And number one is breath focus. So in this simple, powerful technique, you take long, slow, deep breaths, also known as abdominal or belly breathing. As you breathe, you gently disengage your mind from distracting thoughts and cessations. What do you think about that one, Les? Mm. I I think breathing is a technique. It can help certain people. I I think I do this one. Um, mm-hmm. when, when I would bowl, mm-hmm. right? Calm it, your nerves. Right. Right. When I start, if I start hitting a few strikes in a row and I would get nervous because I'm like, mm-hmm. oh man, you know, is this the one I'm going to get that perfect game, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and I would have to do my breathing techniques because I know the more strikes you start to hit, the mm-hmm. more people are watching. Yeah. And, anxiety and like, builds. Yeah. It builds yeah, up. Yeah. It builds up. Right. And so it's like performance anxiety. Yeah. I know. Right. Don't. <laughs> Go all limp and stuff. <laughs> I, had, I had so many jokes and I was I was like, no, I, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna go into this one. <laughs> you can tell we friends because we just ride right on in there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, God. oh my I, children. I, I lobbed that one up for you. I, yeah, I, I was, yeah, you I, did. Yeah, you I did. Was I, I, I was gonna take it. I started to, but I said, nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh. I my pastor myself. listens. I can't do it. I had to my, bad, my bad pastor. My bad pastor. I <laughs> bet you laughing, though. <laughs> Let me get out of this one. Let me get out of this one. All right, oh, anyway, everybody watching. Yes, can you, yes. Can you use your breathing technique? Yeah, because... Like, I think, you know, just doing something like that is really to help calm your nerves, right? Mm -hmm. Take before, and I think a lot of times for us as men, relating it back to the men, since we are Mm -hmm. the man space and talking about men stuff, Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of times for us, especially in stressful situations, situations of road rage, situations at work, just situations at home taking the time to take some deep breaths before you react, before you respond, before you sit there and say that outfit is ugly, that that outfit is not <laughs> flattering, <laughs> <laughs> might save you from getting a frying pan thrown at your head. But <laughs> I won't say a breathing technique for me. It would be more or less 
shut my mouth. Think about this. Yes. Thing you say it. Yes. It, yes. Cause, yes. Because I, I have a problem and it's called being blunt. So I have to, I have yeah. to learn to be quiet. I have to learn to just stop. So like you said, here, maybe I'll take a breath. Go ahead. N- number two on the list. You know, hmm, this was interesting. It's called body scan. Now, it's probably not what you're thinking, Les, because, you know, oh, you're scoping yeah. a woman up from, from head to toe. It's not It's yeah. not that. Okay. I right, then. But this technique blends breath focus, so the first mm-hmm. one, with progressive muscle relaxation. So after a few minutes of deep breaths, you focus one part of your body or a group of muscles at a time by mentally releasing any physical tension that you feel there. So if you have, you know, tension building up in your in your neck, mm-hmm. you know, you do your deep breath and then you kind of just stretch it out and relax it. Mm-hmm. Stretch it out and relax it. You know, you do your deep breathing, stretch it out, relax it. It's this family feud stuff too. Oh, this is Harvard. This is Harvard. This is Harvard. Okay, I thought this is Family Feud stuff, but okay. All right. Yeah. You you don't buy that one? I don't buy that. What? Why not? No. You don't. You don't. You don't believe in in you know <sighs> relaxing the tension within your muscles. Again, no. Maybe because I just never done this, so I, I don't know how to. Okay. You know, so I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll just plead the fifth on it. You know, some, <laughs> certain things that you can believe and certain things, that, you know, you have to be like, hmm. It, it worked. Yeah. I think I think we all may do it. We've just never had a just term me. put to it. Okay. With, okay. All right. Because I've seen myself roll my neck before. And yeah. just breathe. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, and shrug, you just and never sh- had it. And rotate my shoulders because I'm about, right. Yeah, because I'm about to say or do something stupid. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what? 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 What do you always see in in the movies before a guy gets ready to whip somebody up? You know, they stretch yeah. the arms out. Like, okay, you about to get stretched the back out. Do a couple <laughs> deep breaths. You know, Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah, Bruce Lee always did his breathing, and then he stretch it out, relax that tension. Because, you know, you about to get it, you know? Yeah. Well, my uncle used to say, did you ever see a dog stretch before he ran? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but a dog also had four legs and one over 40 either. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, my friend. Touche. Hey, I, I walk too fast. Now nah, I'll pull some. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Just getting out of bed. Oh, good lord! <laughs> Laid out. What's oh. wrong with you? Oh, I got a cramp. <laughs> That's the journey right there. Uh, number three is called mm-hmm. guided imagery. Hmm. For this technique, you conjure up soothing scenes, places, or experiences in your mind to help you relax and focus. Now, this is this is kind of interesting because. You think of something in your mind to take you to a, somewhere that is relaxing, you, something that that calms you, right? You right. may think of walking on the beach. You may think mm-hmm. of, you know, a nice drive, you know, or you even, you know, riding on the bike, you know, in the mountains or something like that. Yeah. Like I used to have on my screensaver mm-hmm. just like an island view on my screensaver. Hmm on my computer or go on my desktop, right? The wallpaper. And I remember my uh, my director one day come up and he's looking at my computer. He says, oh, have you been there? I'm like, no. He says, where is it? He's like, I don't know. It just looks relaxing. And that's why I keep it up. It's just a relaxing picture. Now, see, I think I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. Because I have it, done that to relieve some stress. Mm-hmm. Just lay back, close my eyes, and think of you know, like you said, yeah. riding or I love fishing, so mm-hmm. that's what that a place that I went fishing once is is the background of my computer. 
Yeah. So you know. relaxing imagery, yeah. I think, really does work because it's a it's a way to escape and and just kind of you know put yourself in the moment. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Number four mm-hmm. is mindfulness meditation. Hmm. This practice involves sitting comfortably, focusing on your breathing, and bringing your mind's attention into the present without drifting concerns about the past. So thinking of the moment now and not mm-hmm. worrying about the past, letting the mm-hmm. past be the past, sitting comfortably, you know, back in back when we were like, you know, in the single digit years, we'd probably sit Indian style, maybe, <laughs> maybe the early double digits. <laughs> but uh, after that, you know, there's no sitting Indian style anymore. Yeah, you know? early, early double digits for me, it was over after that. But uh, yeah, I, you know. I, I I do agree with that one. Mm-hmm. I agree with that one too. Yeah, because I, I I've tried to do meditation before, and that's a mm-hmm. part of it. it is yeah. controlling your breathing. It is clearing your thoughts. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You can't worry about what's been happened in the past. You know, for mm-hmm. for believers, this would be your prayer time and things like that. But yeah there's yeah. there's a there's a lot to it you know and usually mm-hmm. so what my wife would always say is early morning like uh, all of us have those moments when we wake up early in the morning yeah you know? yeah yeah usually the earlier in the morning the earth is probably like at it's most still mm-hmm. you know what's around you and that's like the best time to do your meditation and and do your prayer work and do all that mm-hmm. stuff. So, mm-hmm. so there there's there's a method to the to there the is. magic there. Yeah, the you know the, they said this form of meditation has become increasingly popular in recent years. Research suggests that it may be helpful forms with people with anxiety, depression, and pain relief. Hmm. A lot of times, and we we talked about this in the past about how you can think your way sick. Yes, yes, right. I'm a firm believer in that one. Yep. A lot of times, even with sickness <clears throat> or pain, you know <clears throat> your your tolerance for pain can change based <clears throat> on your mindset. Yep. Yep. Now there there is a study, and I don't remember the the research behind it. Mm-hmm. So this, this one is right up your alley. This you're going to love. It. <laughs> they did research of people. It, I think it was uh, 200 people and they wanted to see how long pain actually lasted for somebody. Okay. So everybody <clears throat> suffered the same fate, right? Like they, may have made them stub their toe, right? Or mm-hmm. just just for example, I don't remember exactly what what experiment they did on each person, but everybody got the same thing, made mm-hmm. stub their toe or whatever, right? And what they did was they had two groups. One group was allowed to say their compound words, as you like to say. <laughs> right. Right. The other group could not. Mm. So the group that could not say the compound words, for those that don't understand what the compound word is, the, there was a group that could curse. There was a group that could not curse. Right. So the group that cursed, their pain went away up to six seconds faster than, on average, than the group that couldn't. Mm. So getting that curse word out can help you deal with pain and stress. Yeah. 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 I cuss so, I cuss all the time. <laughs> <laughs> is that this is I'm like real, I'm like this is like the hardest I'm, part of his day, <laughs> man, Space Nation. You know, him sitting here trying to hold his curse words back while we do this show. Cause the minute we stop <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> Soon as that, <laughs> soon as that light goes out, man, Space Nation boy, he lets in. I tell you what, man. <laughs> the and the uh, the only other time is when I'm in the office. I can't. 
express uh, myself completely. You probably do it under your breath, or you oh. do it like I do it. You type it up on the screen. You have a notepad. Yeah, and you just I do. <laughs> I type up everything I want to say on that notepad and I hit delete at the end of the day. Yep. Yep. I had to, I had to type my emails like that and I had to read them like four or five times. If I'm I, trying to get my point across. I don't type emails directly. No. If, if I, oh. I always type them off into a word document. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. And then cut and paste them back in. I would not, because I have sent some stuff before, be, before I was ready to send it. I got talked to last week. What you talking about? <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Les, can you come and see me real quick? <laughs> no. I don't want right. to see you. Well, I'm going to come and talk to you. Come on over here then. You know, <laughs> and uh, the conversation ensued and it was we, did, we, we value you as an employee. Mm -hmm. um, but we have to learn to be a little nicer to others even if they do make mistakes and don't read emails and not pay attention to the contents of the email, I said, well, I agree. Yeah. I'll go back to using my, you know, word to type out my emails first and I'll read them two times. And that's all they yeah. really, just for me to say that I would do that. But you know, right. I was like, you person, yeah. You know, and so many words. I would never call somebody a derogatory name or anything like that in email. But I was pretty stern. Yeah. And the point got crossed. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Major point. Yeah. Major point. Yeah. So number five, and I I probably gonna mess this last one up in here, but it's yoga, tai chi, and ki ki gong, ki jong. I, I don't Q U. Oh no, sorry, you don't have my glasses on. I'm sorry, man. Don't, don't ask me. Q I G O N G. King Yong. Ki, King then we'll Yong. go with that. <laughs> These three ancient arts combine rhythmic breathing with a series of posture and flowing movements. The physical aspect of these practices offer mental focus that can help distract you from racing thoughts. They can also enhance your flexibility and, and balance. But if you're not normally active and have health problems or painful disabling conditions, these relaxing techniques might be too challenging. So check with your doctor before starting them. Yeah. Like Have you ever done yoga? No, I, I want to do it though. I want to do that extreme yoga. I, I, I saw that. I don't know. What, don't what know is extreme I yoga? I don't know. It's yoga that, with a twist. I guess. I don't know. It just say extreme yoga. I've tried hot yoga before. What is that? That's where they, they put you in a room and the temperature oh, is like over 100 and something degrees and stuff. And so you're going to sweat while you're doing it. Yeah, no. I've, I've done that one. Well, first of all, I don't want to be in no place with a bunch of sweaty dudes. I mean, it's mostly women in there. Yeah. No. I mean, there might be like one or two dudes, but it was it was like 97% <laughs> women in there. Uh, no. <laughs> what about Tai Chi? You've never done Tai Chi? No. You know, I have oh, mm, No. Nah. I've done some for some forms of martial arts, but never touch. Uh -huh. No. Watching a Bruce Lee trying to That's imitate it. Bruce Lee in the mirror. The five deadly sins. I wanted to be, you know, the snake, the dragon, the toad. You know what I'm saying? The monkey and the rooster. <laughs> walking, walk. You go walking in the barrel to. <laughs> Watch out, watch out. Oh, my oh my gosh. But you gotta do you gotta do it with the with, with the Chinese dub though. You know what I'm saying? Their mouth be moving five minutes before the word come out. 
<laughs> they be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's that's what you got to do. Those are the best karate movies in the world, right? Oh now. my gosh, I'm coming to kill you. I, oh, I've yeah. had so oh, many yeah. stupid thoughts go through my mind, but I am going to get up out of this one before I say something. It's a family show. <laughs> it is a family show. <sighs> oh. Number six, mm-hmm. repetitive prayer. Mm-hmm. So this is the last one. So for this technique, you silently repeat a short prayer or a phrase for in the form of a prayer. This method may be especially appealing if religion or spirituality is meaningful to you. Rather than choosing just one of the techniques, experts recommend sampling several of the techniques and see which ones work best for you and try to practice one of these techniques at least 20 minutes a day. Although even for a few minutes may, may help, but the longer and the more often you practice one of these relaxation techniques, the greater the benefits and will reduce more stress. I will be sleep. You can put me anywhere for 20 minutes or longer and I got to be quiet and breathe. I will be snoring. They say that's one of the best ways to actually get yourself to sleep in the middle of the night is to, you know, do one of these relaxation, one of these breathing techniques. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to help calm your nerves and get you, get you, you know, your mind to stop racing, so that way you can sleep. I breathe, I breathe heavy already because I'm fat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they don't wonder. I, I walk down the street, and just pass out. I, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, Space Nation, I hope y'all found this entertaining and something helpful. We're going to break. Oh my gosh. As we do each week, we like to close the show with just a little bit of inspiration. Today, as I was getting ready for work, I was loading my backpack up for the day. And as I was grabbing my laptop and my notebook to put inside, this thought really hit me. See, imagine your backpack is your day and it's got limited space in it. Now, You got to decide what you actually put inside of that backpack. See, that's what time management is in a nutshell. This is a great way to understand what time management is. See, each hour is a tiny treasure and it's up to you on how you spend that treasure. When you're loading your backpack, you got to look at your goals are these bright, shiny gems. That's all the important stuff that you got to do throughout the day. So you got to make sure those gems go into your backpack first. But Man Space Nation, don't let the little pebbles of distraction fill up your bag before you can put those gems in. You got to look out for the pebbles. See, you have to break your task into small bites, little snack-sized victories, and tackle them one at a time. Give your mind a breather, like a quick pit stop, So you can go full speed ahead. See, time is your ally. And managing your time, well, that's just your superpower. So pack your bag wisely. Focus on putting your gems in. And Man Space Nation, you can conquer the day. What is that, my friend? Backpack, 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 backpack. Wasn't that door to explore? That was Dora the Explorer. (laughs) Don't swipe her. Don't swipe it. Yeah. Yeah, I got grandkids. But I have that on my soundboard somewhere, and I'm just like looking for it. (laughs) (laughs) I know, I know I have that on my soundboard. I'm just like just saying, man. I'm just saying how you said that. It came across. I was like, wow. 
It reminds me mm-hmm. of somebody. Dora yeah. the Explorer. She had everything in that backpack. In that backpack. You know? everything. everything that she needed. Everything she needed. Every- when she needed it. When she needed it. Yeah. Was in had- that backpack. Yeah. And there was a little thief mm-hmm. running around called Swiper. You know? Swiping, no swiping. Yeah. <laughs> and whatever she didn't have, Swiper was going to go get it, baby. Swiper was, Swiper was going for it. Yeah, Swiper see. was going for it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is in the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And on that note, <laughs> we out of here. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of The Man Space. Whichever platform you listen to us on, make sure you subscribe and don't miss a show. Remember to keep up with all the Man Space updates on our website, themanspacepodcast.com. And you can follow us on Instagram at manspacenat1. Until next time, Man Space Nation, he's Les, I am Russ, and we are out of here. I breathe heavy already because I'm fat. So, all right, Les, let's finish up the show. Les, 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 wake up, man. Sorry, man. I'm tired. I was up late last night. Here, here, try this. Bro, I'm not a coffee drinker. Trust me, man. You'll like it. Man, this is really good. Smooth, no bitter aftertaste either. What brand is this? It's Kairos Life's latest creation, a Brazilian infrared roasted coffee. I really like this. Where can I get it? It's not sold in stores, but you can go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours today. Well, all right. I'm ordering mine now. Manspace Nation, don't miss out. Go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours right now.